Here where I try to satisfy. Uh, here where I fill you in on. Here where I fill you in on everything that happened. Noisy Pixel. What's up, nerds, and welcome to Noisy News Week for the week of October 29th, 2019. Here's where I fill you in on some notable things that happened at NoisyPixel.net this past week. Starting off, we're going to be talking about some visual novel news. Just USA is publishing Ama Yakazi Spoiling My Silver Haired Girlfriend. <laughs> this game, okay. <laughs> Okay, it's coming out on October 25th um, from Just USA. It's a game where this guy, uh, uh, this uncle comes home and uh, his niece, <laughs> his niece is gonna stay with him. And okay. Also, there's an indie publisher out there, Top Hat Studios, released Why Is There a Girl in My <laughs> released Why Is There a Girl in My House, which is a pretty good question for some of us. It's out now on Steam. It's a budget title. It's like $2.99, but visual novel, um, Yuri, I guess. Uh, yeah. Also, moving on, Dungeon Crawler RPG Conception Plus Maidens of the Twelve Stars got a new trailer that showed some characters and how the star children work in that game where you kind of impregnate the girls with these kids and then use the kids to fight for you. Yeah, really cool, really cool idea. I believe this entry, the guy like is from a different world and has to get home. So this is how he does it. Anyway, he's a chosen one, God's gift, and he's going to impregnate some girls. Rue Letter is getting a sequel called Root Film. It's continuing the whole mystery adventure thing. Not much has been said about the game. It's out on a movie set where a murder just happened and the people that are filming decide to kind of investigate further into how this all took place. It kind of has the same thing, but this time I think you can interrogate people a little bit better. We'll see. Uh, more will be announced soon. Agony spinoff Succubus got a gameplay trailer that looked a lot like Doom. It was like seven minutes of gameplay, but it was basically just running through arenas, fighting hordes of demons running at you as a naked succubus. The Muv Love series is getting a sequel called Muv Love Integrate, and it is a direct sequel to Muv Love Alternative where that's kind of the mech story part of it, arguably the better part of it. But you got waifus, you got mecha. They don't even know if it's going to get released. They just wanted to show some concept of it. Here's to hoping, I guess. It's a great series. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to. Dragon Ball Z Kekrot received a new trailer that shows some gameplay and kind of details the systems of the game. It's kind of strange because it's very much an RPG where you have encounters. Um, you'll encounter an enemy and then you'll enter a battle mode. Kind of take that for what it is. It's not a straight action game as you've seen in Dragon Ball Fighters. It's an RPG and it follows a story and you're going to see some new characters and that's really cool. Um, so shout out to CyberConnect2 for doing such a wonderful job with this game so far. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order received kind of cute video about how the team created that little robot droid guy BD-1 who will become accompanying you throughout your adventure. So yeah, be sure to check that out. Probably our most anticipated gameplay of the week, Persona 5 Scramble. The Phantom Strikers received its first gameplay that's developed in partnership with Koei Tecmo and Omega Force, the Dynasty Warriors developers. It's Musu, but there's still this story element with the Persona 5 characters. Really cool. Really glad to see it. It got a Japanese release date on PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch for February 20th. There's still no North American release date to my knowledge. Here's to hoping. We're getting Persona 5 Royale, so I'm pretty sure we're probably going to get this one. It's just a matter of time. Conan O'Brien will be in Death Stranding. They released a video where he visited Kojima Productions and got his picture taken as most actors and celebrities do when they 
go to Kojima Productions and he'll be in one of those hologram things like Jeff Keighley was when that was announced. I'm on to some interesting news, SD Gundam Generation Cross Rays is getting an official Western release on PC. This is a tactical RPG that includes Gundam Arcs, Gundam Wing, Gundam Seed, Gundam Double Zero, and Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. Man, like I've been asking for this series to come west for a really long time, so I'm glad that it finally is. It's coming on PC, no console release, but hopefully Bandai Namco America sees that there is a fan base for these games in the west and we can start to get them more often. For some exclusives at Noisy Pixel, we have a Sparklight interview with the developers. It kind of goes over their approach to this Zelda-like um, action game. It's a really cute, super charming game. Check it out. See if it's in your wheelhouse. It's it's hard. It's adorable. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Check it out. That's all I can say, I guess. We have reviews on the site, so let's go over them. We have Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville, Corpse Party Blood Drive, on PC, Dorymon Story of Seasons, The Outer Worlds, Amaratsu Riddle Star, we have Corpse Party 2 Dead Patient, and we have Ghostblade HD on Nintendo Switch. And that rounds up all of our news. Not all of it, but hey, uh, stuff that I want to talk about and stuff that I think you should know. It's very quick. We're in the briefs here. I hope you like this. I don't know what else to say. Have a good, have a good weekend. Let me know how much I suck at this. Uh... Bye!